Hello everybody and welcome back to our next episode of Faraday Protocol. Uh, in the last episode we left off just as I was inspecting these lovely portal looking things. Uh, we just jumped over this hole using the, the new mechanic they introduced and we're going to continue as we were without any further interruption. So straight away we have this which okay means we can't go back but that doesn't matter so much but it's interesting this is connected to this okay that's why that's fine we we'll take that and as long as we're holding this we can use these if we jump on them it should okay so it looks like there's a momentum thing going on like you have to preserve your momentum while going over or jump while bouncing on them Which is fine, because I'm going to imagine that we can now take this. Ah, so I'm guessing we need to be able to get over to, say, that side, or that side. And they are connected to this central pillar. Um, so we have this, which I don't actually know what that does. Do you do anything over here? No. It opened this door in the middle. Ah. I think I need to go and have a closer look at those symbols again. So we we'll would just jump up here. Okay. Presumably we don't want all of these activated at once. Are the symbols mirrored on all four sides? Yes. Yes, okay. Um, well, triangle, burger man, hourglass, and then the S. So we can take take this energy back down. And this and come in here. This is interesting. It's like a a miniature version of the blue. Huh. That looks really cool. I don't know if there's a particular order to this. Is that started glowing green? No, it's just always got that green effect. Okay, well we'll start with the triangle on that side. I don't know. Maybe it's whatever's facing there. So there, there's, got a, there's a trick to this, and I'm clearly missing it, but hopefully we'll be able to come up with it just through some trial and error. That made a noise, a louder noise, which I think might have come from... yeah. Okay. anything it did I see so I guess it doesn't matter as uh, hmm I guess we have to think about which order we'd like to do this in um, I need to go and grab the energy again take that So, we want the top one to be either on this side or this side. The way we do that, if we had this one, this one, this one, 
and then the top one. Three at one, triangle first, Bergerman second, hourglass third, and the S symbol fourth. Uh, and that would allow us to wind ourselves up and be facing that way. But we actually need a blue connection in order to open that door. So first we should probably be considering this door, which is triggered by this. So in order to get there we'd have to do the exact opposite, so again we'd start with triangle but then we'd go clock counterclockwise, hamburger, hourglass symbol and then the S. So, the triangle symbol is facing out this way. Let's have a look and see if that works the way that I think it does. So what did we say we needed first? The triangle. Has this now activated the triangle at the back? Uh, yes it has. So we said we wanted to go counterclockwise, so it's triangle, and then this one was Bergerman. This is the hourglass. This is the S symbol. So with this, take that back. And take it again, and we should now to go up to here. Now, if I activate this, it opens that door. So, that's pretty easy, because momentum will be conserved. I should be able to do this, and then shoot that. Open, there we go. So, it looks like we just have the single button in here, which gives us access to a blue. If I can make it all the way back over. Connect those. And presumably on this side is also, yep, same thing. So now we just need to go and reverse this configuration. And we need to go clockwise with it. So we'll open this up. So triangle still there. Burger Man there. Hourglass air symbol. I would like to know what this is all about, but I guess we'll see. So we can now take that, turn the elevator on, mess up the platforming because this is not a very good way of doing platforming. Uh, I can take it back and we do the same thing again, conserve the momentum. That was lucky, that was very forgiving. With this open, is this now the way to go? Because I don't want to lock myself out of whatever is happening in the middle there. if anything. Let me just see. Actually, I need to place it down and take that. Bear with me here. Uh, I'm just wondering if there's some sort of secret. So with that open, take that. Can we... Maybe there's some sort of secret combination to make this happen? I don't know, or maybe it's just there for aesthetic purposes, I'm not really sure. It's interesting, you can see the reflection of the symbol in there. Is there anything around which would suggest there's an order to this?
maybe it's nothing. Maybe. Okay, we'll just carry on anyway. If I do decide to come back later and finish off, try and get all the trophies or something, I'll do that as like a, a bonus episode at the end. There is a level select feature, so we should be able to come back. Um, what's interesting is that that's like a platform. Which... I don't know if it's meant to be there or not. Oh, it comes up automatically. That's ah, that's why it works. The game's being very generous. Test thirteen completed. My compliments, recruit. Number thirteen done. Alrighty. It's interesting. What's this glass? So we can see some interesting things going on in there. I think we can just take that with no repercussions. The question is whether or not we should, but... Okay. I mean, we could connect these two if we wanted, but they're not actually turned on. keep you there for now. Let's have a look around the other side of this structure. Okay, this is probably maybe the end goal. So, we're going to want to try and, well, it's interesting that you can go back through here, but I wonder. Just Curious. No. Okay. So we now have orange energy. What can we do with it? That is the question. Fire it up there. Don't know what it'll do. Ah, it opened this door. Got the auto safe come through, that was nice. So I activated this. Um, so we have this, which we can connect with the blue energy to here or here. So we can take that back. And that's interesting that that forces it down by doing that. I guess we activate this. So we can go up here. Oh, not just up there, but up here. Okay, so we're above that chamber. Uh, and from here, we can probably do some clever manipulation. If we take this orange. We now have a blue. I wonder if this is intentional as well. Okay, I've opened that. Does that give us access to anything new? I guess we'll have to go down and find out. Gives us a new red or orange energy to use. So, we'll go up here again. Maybe we power this, and then then perhaps we come over here. Can we? I can do that. Okay. 
so that enables us to fire something down that tube which will then activate this lift which takes us up into that box uh, the question is whether it returns no so that is now activated and we'll only use the blue to cross this gap and we're free to go I am curious if we're ever going to find ourselves in there whether this whole room is part of one big puzzle I don't know how far the secrets extend in this wow okay there's lots of symbols and a single blue energy okay so to open this I probably need to connect triangles to S um, Okay, so there are four of these, call them receptacles, and then two of these. Okay, triangles pointing out that way. S's need to be pointing this way. Oh, I've skipped the, the gun, I think. But maybe it doesn't matter. Because if we connect this to this, okay, gives us an extra energy to work with. Right, we connect you there. That's an S now, like it was supposed to be. This one now needs to be the triangle. Which is this. And that gives us a red energy to work with. Let's fire that there for now. So, in order to open this door, S, hourglass, hourglass. So... S is of course we don't need anything there we connect to you to you and you need to be an hourglass ok so we have two of the three So now, how can I do that? If I need an e uh, the hourglass symbol in that bottom left as well, is there something I can do? And the hourglass symbol is being used there. Maybe I can do something clever like. We attach this to this, and then cross the wires over. It works. There we go. Okay, and in order to cross this bridge, I need some orange energy, which. I can probably get by taking that, putting it in there, taking that. There we go. OK, 
Okay, so that is going to activate the lift up to the second level, but first we need a blue. Which we can get here. But there's this thing. And presumably this means we can't rotate these. Not without power. So this is interesting because I only have one power source available to me. It's supposed to be Hourglass S Bergerman. I'm not sure that did anything. supposed to be able to get more energy from out here maybe I left something behind and I can get more I don't know I'm missing something fundamental here. Perhaps... Powering that does nothing. And oh, there's nothing else in here I can grab. Was I supposed to bring more with me? Is it possible? Can I... Is there any spare energy anywhere? Can I take any from in here? I guess I can. Or... That's presumably opening the door. If I had somewhere to put this, like there, I could take this. And I can then place it down there. I do not know if this was the intended solution to this particular problem, but uh, adapt and overcome, right? We need to power you. Um, oh, that's an interesting question. How are we supposed to access it? Because we need to hold on to this to be able to use the bridge. Perhaps if I use that. Take this as a red so we can cross the... An orange so we can cross the bridge. It's confusing because it looks orange, but then the bridges are red. So we can put you there, and then we should still be able to access this. Which we can then convert to a blue. And now, we've powered this lift. Which takes us right up the top. We get a free orange power which lets us walk across to the center and we can fall down into there if we so please we actually can't go back oh, I'm probably missing a bunch of things alright yeah, in the last episode when I said that it was a good thing there was no fall damage that was definitely a bit worse. <laughs> so we can power this. It brings us up to here. We can power this. And it opens up that slot. Which gives us a blue. Okay, that 
did a little bit more than conserve momentum. That seemed to double my momentum. But all right, there we go. We can put you there, say. Take you. Replace you. And we're good to go. Test 14 completed. Congratulations, recruit. Yeah, all these optional puzzles within the puzzles seem a little bit beyond me, but like I say, I'll probably come back uh, using the level select after we finish the game. I'll come and complete the all the trophies, which is probably going to involve all of the collectibles. Look at that. I'm going to make a small pause in the recording here. We'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I just had to take a break between recording. So we're back in front of this button. Um, doesn't look like there's any other way to go except to push it. Okay. Wow. The way the floor just lit up then was, that was quite beautiful. Okay, it's stopped here. So, wow, this structure is amazing. That's where we just were. So we have this again. And we've been given blue energy for free. What's this? Okay, so the button rotates things which are hidden behind these. But presumably we would have them rotate simultaneously. The problem is going to be every time we push this button that one's going to rotate and then we'll manually connect one of these. So like that say. If I now do that they both rotate. Let me just check that the other ones are not. Yeah. So I should get all of these lined up because I'll be able to disconnect them and then do that one last because I can do that separate from the circuit so that's this one this one is what it's supposed to be these two actually are connected so they have to be done at the same time presumably means there's only one correct way to do this yes okay Now we can just change that one. There we go. I don't know what I did. Okay, so I'm just allowing. As I have reached outside the building for the first time, I notice the station is no longer in range of the closest star. I suppose it's due to the fast revolution of the planet we are orbiting. This looks interesting. Right, so is this just gonna be a similar situation to before? Uh, none of these are locked off, so to speak. Um, so I can interact with these. Oh man, this is a lot. Okay, so I can use the outputs of these for these. All right, well, let's start over here. So that has to connect to this, which is going to be an hourglass. That's now correct. This one, we don't know what it has to be, which is good. <laughs> I wonder if... Nope. Okay. Okay, so we connected as an hourglass. 
Now the next step I guess would be to connect this to this and that needs to be that S symbol which it is. So this is now powered correct um, this one has no symbols on it at all and this one and this one only have one so we need the triangle Okay, there's no way to get both the triangle and the... But here, perhaps... No. But what about here? We can get the triangle here. Will it reach that far? It's too, f too, too far. Damn. Uh... What happens if you connect this? Okay, well this one's just supposed to be... The Dancing Burger Man. Which, there it is. We can only have one other connection, and it seems impossible to do this, because there's no triangle symbol accessible to us. It's a shame, because this isn't being used. I mean, even if we do that and connect the hourglass... Why wasn't it let me... I can't absorb that. Because I already have an energy in my gun. That's stupid. Uh, that's me being stupid, rather. Uh, so there we have the hourglass. Maybe that will allow us then to get the S from there. And then this can be different. Perhaps this can be... We need this triangle symbol. And then perhaps over here we can have the burger map. One, two, three. Connect you to you. Okay, there we go, that wasn't so hard. I like the way that all this lights up. The lighting effects in this game are, are very good, to be fair. Reminds me of uh, maybe a little bit Bioshock-esque, the sort of extravagant golden light so what's interesting about this is I can't access either of these um, one thing that had never occurred to me, can I just take these connections from the previous puzzles without... No, they're like fixed in place. There's a slight change in the colour of them as well, they've turned a sort of turquoisey colour. Um, okay. I don't have access to 
any energy at the moment. I'm a little confused. But I'm just gonna solve these in the simplest meaning of the word solve. Okay, that opened up this. That's good. I mean, I can now power this for what good it is because I only have one. I'm guessing that's where this is going to come in. That was interesting. I'm not entirely sure exactly how that works, but normally with these symbols, uh, this this connection means you turn one type of energy into another. See, like that's lit up. That's lit up. If you take it, they're both not there anymore. But this cable actually carried on, and it actually carried on as just a normal wire, which I guess must have deactivated this uh, the force field around here. That's good, because now we have two of these to work with, which is presumably going to be very important here. Um, this connects to here. I mean, I don't, I don't see how that helps anyway maybe I need to do something over here first now that I have two blues I can guess I can attach that and I see, but I need this to be powered. This needs to be powered. How can it be powered if all of these were correct? Perhaps from... sure that helps us in any way because there's no yeah these connectors there are th exactly three connectors here well that's interesting it's rotating all of them but not this one. So if I connect these and rotate... Ah! That is very clever. So I think this one is now correct. And this one... Ah, this one changed. So I need to make... Can I connect you... No. So I need that to be the, the triangle. Which is that. Okay, so this one is correct. This one is correct. This one is correct. And now, I went past it. This one is correct. Um... Why is this moving that? Oh, 
Now that one's not changed, which is good, because that needs to stay as it is. So what I need to do <clears throat> is have it so that th this is one spin off being correct, right? But now if I move this one, which is not moving that one, this also needs to be one spin off being correct, which it is now. And now we do that, that's right, that's right. Oh. There's a correct order to do this puzzle and I'm not entirely sure. I'm trying to brute force it but I mean that's correct now so and so is that but that's not and the problem is I do that so this is actually one off of that one is there a way to correct that if I let's go back around how it was okay so this is the correct way It looks like it's too off of being correct there. So if I move this twice, these two are now synced up. But this one is not. So... If I move that twice, and move that twice, that's correct, that's correct. This one's not. Ah, if I'd have connected this to this, that would have done it. Is it possible to undo what I just did? So I did this twice. This twice. No. Now we connect this. Yes. Okay, this is good, this is good. We take this one, connect it up. Okay, we're progressing this beam of light. And this is done now. We must nearly be back round to the start. Alright, this is a, a mess of puzzles. We'll look at that in a second. So, this is, I can't tell if that's currently powered or not. I'm guessing not. No. Right. Is there anything on the other side of the cube? No. Behind it? No. So this is essentially the solution, the configuration that we'd need. Uh, Bergerman. S, hourglass, hourglass, and these four here, presumably when one of these is correct, one lights up, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, so we have a pillar there, a pillar there, a pillar we can't access there, 
So this is connected to all of these, presumably. It doesn't change. Ah, but that changes both of them. Okay. So is the idea that we need... Oh, I think I might have accidentally solved that one. And that one. Okay. Well, that's, that's correct now. But the problem is, this one's not. Oh, it is correct. So this needs to change. Yeah. Good thing about this is that rotating twice actually um, undoes essentially what you just did because it's it's symmetrical in a way. Rotating this twice, which, yeah, that rotated this, which that's the only way to control it. But this rotated twice. But then I can just undo that by rotating this twice as well. It'll just go back to the position it was in. So what that gives us is Bergaman, Hourglass, Hourglass. And so presumably this is the last symbol. It's meant to be an S. I have no idea if there's a correct configuration but I only have access to three energy so far which is a little bit frustrating does it have something to do with this do I have to do something here well, this is all fixed I can push a button. Just seems to rotate this one. Just check this didn't change this. No. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to solve using this. So, Bergman, S, Hourglass, Hourglass. Perhaps it can be done over here. Uh, no, okay. This is a completely separate puzzle, but maybe it will give us access to an energy that we can use to solve the other one. So I guess the best way to think about this is from this direction. This changes all of them. And we want this to be correct. This changes all of them as well. To change that one? No. This needs to be an hourglass. Hourglass and Bergman. Would you look at that? So they're correct. If I rotate this, it's going to rotate that one. But if I rotate this... Let's see, rotate... Ah! Damn. Here I was hoping it would be a bit simpler than that. This button... only rotates that one. Okay. So this one is not correct anymore. Bergerman Hourglass.
this one needs to be the triangle symbol which it is now this one needs to be the S symbol which it is now so I solved that one and that one this one hasn't moved this one is wrong three I had to move that um... I'm not gonna lie that was completely accidental I was about to go and change this one again and try and do like move this once and then move this three times so I could stick with my whole like two times is symmetrical but yeah I did it anyway gained some more energy and now because I already partially solved this I'm hoping so we got hourglass symbol burger man hourglass symbol and the S symbol is needed do we have an S symbol accessible I mean do here Okay, so that answers that question. It cannot just be in any random order. There is a particular order to these, and I don't know if it's... maybe supposed to be... So that one's correct. This one maybe has to be... Uh, the S symbol. Which is going to mean I'm going to have to rotate this. It only needs to be rotated once, but if I rotate it twice... Because that means I can undo it. By just doing this. So, Burger Man, S, Hourglass, this one just needs to be an Hourglass, which we can do pretty easily. It's good that actually, I hadn't noticed that colour change before, but they become fixed in place and that stops you from uh, like breaking it accidentally afterwards. Um, interesting thing about that of course is that what did that do oh it just allows this to progress now I think we're back to the start and all of that just to power this lift That's a hell of a view. And of course they all light up. I have a feeling we might have just powered a bit more than the lift. That was that thing that I saw initially and was like, hey, I don't want to fall into that. Okay, we have a, a light bridge. The sky's the ceiling. Entry 6. The space station appears to be reshaping under my feet. A new central column has risen, and I have been guided to its top. I believe from here, I'll be able to access the next facility. Okay. So, we just did that. There's two beams of light going up into the sky, presumably now. So there are three of these such facilities. Yeah, one, two, and then the, the third and final ones over there. Okay, this this game is really, really nice looking. 
like all the stars. I know it's just a, like a 2D image stretched over the, the curved surface up there, but it looks pretty. So, this is the uh, the second part of the game, I guess. Is there a way in? Can we? Is there a back door? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that was a collectible. Okay, well, heads up, there's a hidden collectible behind this pyramid looking thing. It doesn't actually have a pointed tip, which is why I don't want to call it a pyramid. So. Oh, that is a door. How did I not see that? <laughs> well, still, it's a good job I checked. Uh, this one's looking a little bit more damaged than the last. But I think this is actually probably a good time to end the episode. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope if there is anyone watching this that they're enjoying it. Maybe I help you solve some puzzles. Maybe you've laughed because I'm bad at solving them. <laughs> um, either way, I hope someone's getting something out of this. Uh, it's just a little sort of pet project that I wanted to do. Uh, to be a little bit creative and share something with the world um, even if only you know 10 or 20 people get some you know enjoyment out of watching this then I've done something that I'm pretty pleased with so thanks again guys and we will see you in the next video Oh,